Hello everybody and welcome to a Baruto chapter review. Um, I'm going to be doing things a little bit different moving forward. Um, that's why uh, there wasn't a Attack on Titan video. But anyways, um, this is a great chapter. This is one of those few chapters that I think that we don't always get um, with Baruto. And the reason this chapter is so good is because it has a lot of plots being set up. There's a lot of moving parts to this chapter. Um, we have basically three parts of it. We have Kawaki and Baruto um, both um, grappling with the events that happened um, with both Sasuke and Naruto losing uh, Kurama and uh, the Rinnegan. Um, and then we have Code, and we have what was going on with him. Uh, we also have uh, what goes on um, with uh, Shikimaru and uh, Naruto so we have three moving parts three big pieces and so anyways um, the first thing that I mean I want to talk about first and foremost is is obviously the code um, thing because code is somebody who I wasn't really expecting that much from honestly but code is is oddly enough a very fascinating character in that he was able to survive the experiment with Kawaki um, which is important to note that Kawaki was somebody that survived um, along with him, but he didn't actually know um, that he that Code was actually given uh, Karama. And it's interesting with that white marking, um, just because it's kind of like it, it looks like it's inactive almost. So I don't know if maybe that's why um, at the end of the last chapter, you know, um, he was able to receive the rest of Ishiki's um, will. Um, but Code also ends up at the end of the chapter, I mean, we're starting with the end of the chapter, but I think that's a more interesting thing to do. At the end of the chapter, Code basically, um, you know, he finds a cyborg of, of Ida, and I don't know if that's supposed to be something similar to, like, the Garden of Eden, um, or something similar to that, but, um, maybe that's <laughs> kind of what the thing was going with it kind of i saw somewhere where there's a comment on the viz translation that's saying that it's based naruto in a in a dbz uh shell and it kind of is i mean it it did go from aliens to now cyborgs and even ida has these earrings that look like they're from dragon ball but she's got a great design i'm excited to see characters like delta you know like, like similar to Delta, but actually seeing them in action. Um, so I don't actually know if there, I don't know if there's going to be more that are like her or more that are similar, but it is still cool nonetheless to actually see a cyborg and, and him having like this kind of like mini army now. Um, it's interesting too because a Five Kage Summit was mentioned, a Go Kage, I guess. I don't know. It would be interesting if it's in a different village because we've seen it, of course, in the Land of Samurai. Um, and that obviously might be a place that Code was visiting, by the way, because there's not very many snowy places in Naruto. Um, but it's interesting. If the Five Kage Summit was anywhere, it would be interesting. if it was, We've already seen what the Hidden Mist is now. Um, we've seen, with, obviously, with the Leaf Village. We've seen, I guess, some of what the Sand Village was in Baruto, the anime. So I'd love to see what is going on in other places, like the Rock Village, or, you know, Village Hidden in the Stones. That'd be cool, um, but I don't see that being a possibility, um, to be honest. Um, Barto's Team 7, too, is, is kind of a... Is Barto is also being watched, but as Sarda says, you know, basically her and, Mi, and Mi, um, Mitsi, Mitsuki um, are basically being decommissioned for quite a while, it sounds like, which is interesting because, remember, Kakashi and Sasuke... You know, Kakashi was knocked out because of using MS, and Sasuke um, was elsewhere, you know, doing his Orochimaru thing. They actually got replacements with both Sai and, and Yamato. So I don't know necessarily why they don't just replace Baruto, um, because they already did it before, so it's kind of an odd thing. But I, I do think it's interesting that it's not just Baruto that's affected, I think is the thing to take away from it. Um, and then, obviously, Naruto comes up, you know, Baruto actually has this interesting possibility of, of maybe, you know, um, infecting another person with a Kurama, and I was just like, 
I didn't really think of that, but that that is a good um, a good idea to have. That Cal Walkie comes with Cal Walkie. Just he just is so cool. You know, he's got like his jacket back, and he's like he's like saying, you know, I, I love how in last chapter he was saying like, you know, we we're, we're I'm still gonna take um, care of this marking that you have, and he means it. He is gonna still try to take care of the Karama uh, for Baruto. So that that's a pretty important thing. Um, that is getting brought up again is that Kawaki still is with Barto's side, but he does seem very attitude y, um, like a Sasuke kind of character. Um, and it's interesting, there's a lot of parallels to chapter one because Kawaki, you know, first he had that arm, but then it got blown off. And I thought, I don't know how they're going to connect it. Like, what, what are they going to give him a new arm? Is it Zetsu arm? But this chapter answers that he gets a new arm. So that makes that coincides with what chapter one was when we saw him for the first time, as well as like um, you know him and Barto are now on the the Kage faces, which is interesting because it's this big difference between fifty five chapters of how it started out with the Kage just being destroyed, you know, and now um, you know in the past anyways they're just kind of sitting on it and having a pretty serious discussion about Barto re re resurrecting himself, which is a pretty interesting concept with Code. But the thing is, they're going to find out pretty quick that Code now has now has an Otsutsuki himself, so they're pretty much screwed. Um, <laughs> it, it's interesting how much it's it's escalated. I don't know if maybe Kashi and Koji could be used to fight Eden. Um, also, Sumire comes back. Um, it's not a big moment in the chapter, um, by any means, but it, it is pretty interesting that, uh, Sumire comes back, and she actually is, uh, relatively, you know, useful. Um, I, I don't know if maybe Nue is gonna come into this, because she still has Nue, a very smaller version, so I don't know if maybe they'll figure out a way to, like, get to that place with her being able to, um, transport to other dimensions, uh, Barata still has that other eye, so I'm, I'm very intrigued about a lot of these things that are going on. This is a chapter that has more going on than other chapters. There's even a bit of action with Code taking out two of Baro's guards in a pretty brutal fashion, and also a confusing fashion. Not exactly sure how he did those, like, um, it's like a belt kind of thing that appears, so I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, it, it's, it's a very good chapter. I was quite surprised. Um... Barto has kind of this nice Naruto moment too um, in the beginning of the chapter when he's being interviewed and the guy's like, oh, you're the hero. And he's like, oh, no, no. And he's drawn, his face anyways, is drawn very similar to Naruto's uh, when somebody would like give him a compliment. So um, I really like that. I, I did really like that moment. I like the chapter. I like what it's setting up. I don't know if there's going to be like this crazy like uh, Akatsuki kind of like, you know, resurrection or like some pain thing where they, you know, they in infiltrate the Hidden Leaf Village. Um, I don't know if like the cyborgs will end up being not so bad like in Dragon Ball. Um, I kind of hope that they're just bad mostly, but kind of are, uh, I don't know. It, it, Naruto villains always end up reforming, so it, it is interesting that most of them anyways. But it is interesting that Code actually deliberately sought out these places. I don't know if maybe he'll try to recruit the outer members or or something along those lines um, to fill in the gaps. Kashin Koji is definitely somebody that needs to make a, re a reappearance. Sasuke, notably, was not in this chapter, so he might be off trying to figure out getting another Sharnigan or trying to figure out uh, Train or, or maybe just figuring out some, some kind of way... Um, to uh, move forward now that he is reduced. Same with Naruto. Um, so anyways, I think it's a great chapter. Um, really, <laughs> the possibilities that the series is going in now that Kishimoto has taken over is very interesting, and I uh, really hope that we get to see uh, more other characters being involved. You know, maybe Kakashi, maybe even my guy, or, or uh, Asuma's daughter. Uh, that, those would all be great additions um, to come back. Um, so anyways, that does it for me, and i uh, see you guys till next time. Bye.